Good evening. My presentation is about reading metric caliper jaw inside micrometer. This micrometer is said to be caliper jaw simply because the measuring faces look like the measuring faces used with the caliper. As you see here, we have two scales. The first one is the main scale, which is on the sleeve, and the second one, which is the auxiliary scale, it is at the edge of the thimble. We have two jaws for this inside micrometer. The right one is attached to the to the sleeve, and the left one is attached to the spindle. So if we rotate, if we rotate the thimble clockwise, if we look from this direction. So the right jaw stay at rest, but the left jaw will move with the spindle in this direction. So the reading will increase. This micrometer is mainly used for the measuring of the internal sizes, mainly inside diameters, as you see here in this photo. We have two styles or two designs for the inside micrometer regarding the measuring faces. In the top, we have the inside micrometer with two pins and below we have inside micrometer with two jaws. Simply we use the top one, which uses the pins in case of small sizes or small holes while the lower micrometer is used with bigger sizes of diameter. Let's see the parts of the depth micrometer and the function of each of these parts. This is the sleeve. This is the thimble. At the sleeve we have the sleeve scale or the main scale. And again, regarding the reading of the main scale, it is read in reverse direction, in this direction. Same like what I have said in reading the depth micrometer. And we have another scale, which is called the thimble scale or the auxiliary scale at the edge of the thimble. And for metric system, this scale is divided equally to 50 partitions. This is the ratchet or ratchet stop, and it is mainly used in order to make the contact between the two inner surfaces for reading the internal dimension. This is the right jaw, and the right jaw is attached to the sleeve and we have another jaw, which is called the left jaw, which is attached to the spindle. This is the locking screw. Once we tighten this screw, both the spindle and the thimble becomes at rest. This is called the spindle of the micrometer. This is the range of the micrometer. For example, this micrometer, the range is between 25 up to 50 mm. So when this micrometer is completely closed, the outer side between the two jaws will be 25 mm exactly. And once we open the micrometer completely, it is capable to be opened up to 50 mm. There is a setting standard or calibration ring for the purpose of zeroing a process. As you see here, the inner diameter of this calibration ring is 24.997 mm, while the minimum range of this micrometer is 25. So the value of the accuracy for this calibration ring is three thousandths of a millimeter.
regarding the spanner wrench we use it for fixing the zero error once there is a zero error and zero error comes if the index line this index line is not aligned it is not aligning with the zero line on the thimble scale let's understand how to read the main scale regarding the reading of the main scale it is the same as reading the main scale in case of using the depth micrometer so what is shown in the dashed red lines here is the thimble edge and regarding the line we should read actually we read the last hidden line under the sleeve which is the closest to the edge of the thimble so for example this line is the first line left to the edge of the thimble we don't read this line but we read this line so this line is the last hidden line under the thimble which is the closest to the thimble edge so this line is simply line 11.5 mm let's have another example if the thimble edge in this location so the last line under the thimble is this line so this line is read as 14 mm so this is the sleeve reading or main reading let's have another example here the last line or the last hidden line is this line and this line is line number 17 and a half millimeter if the thimble edge in this location so the main reading is the reading of this line and this line is line number 20 mm if the thimble edge in this location so we should read this line and this line is read as 27 mm if the thimble edge in this location we should read this line and this line is line 27 and a half millimeter If the thimble edge in this location so we should read this line and this line is line number 29 mm so this is the way how to read the main scale graduation let's have some practical examples here first of all we should read the main scale as you see the first line left to the edge of the thimble is this line so we should read the line before it so we should read this hidden line under the thimble and in order to read this line correctly it is better to return back so this is 10 mm this is 9 this is 8 this is seven this is six so this line is line five mm so in this case the main scale reading is five mm now we need to read the auxiliary scale so this index line is the reference for reading the auxiliary scale so this line lines up with this line at the edge of the thimble and this line at the thimble is line number 26 so line 20 number 26 is read as 0.26 mm see that one of the common mistake one can do is reading the auxiliary scale in this direction so if you move in this direction in reading the auxiliary scale this line is line number 30 so we read it 34 so this is 
a wrong reading. So the correct reading is reading in this direction. So this is line number 25. So we should read line number 26. So take care of this point. So in this case, the thimble reading or the auxiliary reading is 0.26 mm. So the total reading is the main scale reading, which is 5 mm, plus the thimble reading, which is 0.26. So the total reading is 5.26 mm. Let's have this example here. As you see here, the first line left to the edge is this line. So we shouldn't read this line. We should read the line before it. So this is the line that we should read, which means simply that the edge of this line exceed this line, which is line number 25. So the, the main scale reading in this case is 25 mm. In order to read the auxiliary scale, this is the index line, lines up with this line, and this line is line number 19. So it's read as 0.19 mm. So the thimble reading is 0.19 mm. So the total reading now is simply 25 plus 0.19, so 25.19 mm. Sometimes in order to increase the range of the inside micrometer, we insert tube with specific or accurate length. So in this case, the presence of this tube increases the range of this micrometer to become from 50 up to 75 mm. See that the minimum range, which is 50, it's already included in the main scale reading. So first of all, in order to read this micrometer, see that the zero line on the thimble edge lines up with the index line. So in this case, we are sure that the edge of the thimble exactly on this line. So this line in red is line 58 mm. So this is the main scale reading. It is 58.00. And regarding the reading of the auxiliary scale, it is simply zero. So the total reading is 58.00 mm. Let's see this example here and take care of this case. Before start, start reading, see that the zero line on the thimble scale is below the index line. So in this case, the edge of the thimble does not reach this line. So we shouldn't read this line. So which line should we read? Is this hidden or dashed line? And this dashed line, in order to read it, we can move reversely. This is line number 10. This is 9. This is 8. This is 7. So this is the line of 6.5 millimeter. So the main scale reading is 6.5 millimeter. Regarding the reading of the auxiliary scale, this is the index line, lines up with this line, and take care for reading this line, we should read this line in this direction. So this line is line number 49, and it is simply read as 0.49 mm. So the thimble reading 
is 0.49 mm. So the total reading is 6.5 plus 0.49 mm, which is equal to 6.99 mm. See that in order to increase this reading a little bit so that it becomes 7 mm. So we need to increase the reading by a value of 100 of a millimeter. How to do this? Simply, we should rotate the thimble in this direction or clockwise if we look at the thimble or the micrometer in this direction so that the zero line lines up exactly with the index line so in this case the reading is exactly 7.00 and in this case the line that we should read on the main scale is this line which is line number 7mm So that's all about the way of reading an inside metric micrometer. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.